something like that. Is there, other, is, is there any new ones? Uh, like other new ones or are those it? Like just improvs like that? Yeah. Yeah, there's one called. Hey, I gotta tell the story. It'll be Got good it. to rip off it though. I lived in Michigan and Andrea lived there with me for a few months. And uh, she had a tough time, needless to say. We would go over to my mother's and in the middle of dinner conversation uh, to shock and uh, to get some people laughing and thinking I would say things were true. Like, I've had painful erections for about six months. And eventually I laid out some details about Andrea and our, and our minglings and our troubles. And I got home later that night. Boy, was she upset. You don't even want to know. You've seen the look on a girl's face. She was so fucking angry. Do I know why? Not really. So you have to ask. She's Colombian, so she's writing away in the journal, and I can't read any of it because it's in Spanish. And I eventually, I'm reading it, you know, I'm being annoying as always, and I look at it and I'm reading it, and I see one word, uh, publico, and I go, what does that mean? She goes, public, and I see pravito, pravita something, and I go, what's that? And she says, private. And I go, what does it say? She pauses, and then she says, Peter doesn't understand the difference between public and private. Immediately, I grabbed my guitar and I said, Dear diary, Peter doesn't understand the difference between private and public. Dear diary, Peter doesn't understand the difference between private and public. Whoa. <laughs> that was a good one. I might talk about the basement flooding. So I got soldered rice needles, Dina's birthday. I got a cool a couple of Yeah, points. yeah. And then we're playing real songs, too. I got this really, like, one of the beautiful version of a song. Of my own. We on got, what album? We got, uh, it's not on an album. It's oh. a video. Will You Marry Me, Andrea Rosen. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I saw that. Yeah. That sounds like, that's what a lie sounds like. That's what what? I, that's what a lie sounds like. I think I saw that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I saw that. No, 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 I really did see that. No, okay. I know what a lie sounds like. You don't have to explain it. It's cool. I already get it. You got me a liar. The camera's rolling, bro. So this is for the ages. Mispronunciation. 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 Happens sometimes. Happens to white people. So I'll play that thing. Happens to black people. So, that's did you did you jacked off 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 cool man that's the basic that sounds like all the things I only got a half hour to play, so I got to make sure I get the. Uh... A lot of people hanging out, having fun here. Let me hit the button on the stopwatch. You don't care. So I know, and I don't want to go over time. Dina, Dina Selfridge, she's sitting over there. Stand up, Dina, right now. Dina, Dina Selfridge is standing over there. It was her birthday on Saturday, Friday the 13th. Happy birthday, Dina. I'm sorry that I missed you. I was doing a session, I record music for a living. I was recording some R&B The motherfucker was really talented He played the keys in the bass And he sang like one of those gospel motherfuckers It was fantastic, but I missed Dina's birthday party No one here cares about it other than Dina and I And maybe Andrea, or maybe someone liked the song Maybe you didn't like the song You thought it was too much of an inside joke I'm sorry if you didn't like the song It could have been too much of an inside joke Nobody's really smiling That girl's smiling She kind of like my joke She kind of like my joke She kind of like my joke So I got Dina's birthday presents here 
I don't know if she has an iPhone or not, but I got her this. If you don't like an iPhone, maybe you smoke weed, you could put weed in it, whatever you want to do. It came from Bed Bath & Be Yawn. I call it Yawn because it's boring. And I got you these, too. It's a terrible joke, I know. I got you these. These are stickers. And I, oh, I'm all sweaty now. You're very welcome. Don't worry, she's not my girlfriend. Andrea is. And I got you guys... Tonight there is going to be a public unveiling, just like the last show, all kinds of relationship problems. You're going to get to hear about all the juice. Irene Turi, are you here right now? Irene's, Irene? Oh my gosh, guys, that's Irene. She just moved into our apartment, so I made a song right now called Italian Roommate. Irene moved into the apartment She saw her ad on Craigslist She came out and checked it out Me and Andrea were like, yeah, she seems really nice And we were like, we'll call you later tonight Irene, we'll call you later tonight First we've got to talk Maybe she leaves and we're like, she was kind of strange do I really want to live with that person? And we were like, yeah, she's quite all right. Irene, she moved into the apartment. She lives in the room right next to us. Shh, the landlord doesn't know, but he's a fucking asshole. Let me tell you what happened yesterday. For the third time since we moved in, the apartment flooded like a motherfucker I have a recording studio in a basement It's not what it sounds like It's really nice But nothing's that nice when it's floating in water The studio was seven inches in water But I'm prepared this time it's okay if the basement floods, it's okay. Wait a second, man. Italian, can I play anything Italian on guitar? It sounds more Spanish to me. much more to tell she's really nice it's something to get accustomed to i can't go to the bathroom naked anymore but that's okay because we like her and the rent's lower now and if we're able to make someone happy then that's fucking cool i do miss showering with the door open maybe i could still shower with the door open it might be kind of weird how would andrea feel how would irene feel how would irene feel we don't we don't know, we don't know, we don't know, we don't know. That's Italian roommate, guys. One, one time only, tonight. Last cloning ever. Okay, we're gonna talk about that in a second. I'm gonna play a song, guys. I got a wonderful little reptile named Jammy. Most people know that. Shut the fuck up, Bogdan. He's Romanian, guys. He was at a bar. I had this night off and I went there and I played at the open mic. And he was saying, my, my name's Bogdan, and I had just been to Romania and seen a lot of Bogdans. And I said, Bogdan, are you from Romania? And he goes, exactly, dude. And ever since, I realized he lives right around the block. We're close friends. We made a movie the other day, full drag, and everything was really far out, really disgusting. He hasn't edited it yet. He, I'm going to edit it tonight, man. Ah, nothing happened. It's been sitting on his computer. That's OK. I wanna, anyhow, the lizard's name is Jammy. She's such a beautiful creature. Everyone get a bearded dragon and care for it. Or do something better, don't get one. Let them exist in the wild. Jammy was a gift to me when I was 16, and I never would have wished that on her. Kind of what the song is about. So let me play it. It's called Do You Love Me? One, two, one, two, Every single day, 
You see her looking out your cage And you know that I never would have wished this on you The good years, the hard times I never would have traded any one of them for you You are the greatest little girl I've ever known You'll never tell me that you leave And still I'm sitting here alone Nobody needs to know exactly you do after dark behind the park you make a spark from me to you and tell me tell me now baby doll i'm here for you but can you feel it like i do Ooh, and tell me tell me now baby doll i'm here for you but i need to know do you love me Lately, I've been hearing things about us that don't really bother me. Crazy people think what they want to think, maybe they don't. So Rottico knows, watch you every single way. You haven't got a thing to say, but I know you could. Jammy, if you only could, she would. In the sunlight. Jam, you know I held you tight I never would have traded any one of them for you You are the greatest little girl I've ever known You'll never tell me that you leave And still I'm sitting here alone Nobody needs to know exactly what it is you do After dark behind the park You make a spark from me to Baby doll, I'm here for you, but I need to know Do you love me? Does the reptile love me? Does she love me? Need to know, right here waiting for you, right here waiting for you. I need to know, right here waiting for you, right here waiting for you. So try me and destroy me, fight me, baby, find me. Forget me and love me, baby, love me. You are the greatest little girl I've ever known. You'll never tell me that you leave, and still I'm sitting here alone. And love me, baby, love me. Baby doll, I'm here for you, but I need to know. Doll, I'm here for you, but can you feel it like I do? Ooh, tell me, tell me now. Baby doll, I'm here for you, but I need to know. Do you love me? Does the reptile love me? Does she love me?
me, baby, love me like I love you. Thanks, guys. Since writing that, I'm not on the fence anymore. Sing, sing along to the music in your heart. Sing, sing along. Take me away into the magic sky. I feel like dying and I don't know why But Jesus Christ, Jesus, Jesus Christ I feel the same as I always have It's all the same when the sweat's burning out your fucking eyes World's passing by and Mark is laughing right now But Jesus Christ, if you heard the song, you know this is the alternate version tonight. So sing, sing along to the music in your heart. Sing, sing along to the music in your heart. Unicorns and rainbows, it's a magical place. When you sing along to the music in your heart. Gold, silver, diamonds, my death is made of money Motherfucker memories, raindrops of the past I'm going blind, Jesus Christ, Jesus, Jesus Christ I feel the same as I always felt Death and dying, disease, regret and crying The bad things I know the truth, the good I know them too Jesus Christ Jesus, Jesus Christ I feel like dying And I always have Come on, I'll run away Run away Come on, sweet girl Just run away I said run away Run away I'm running away with you No, run away Oh, sweet girl Just run away Run away, run away, I'm running away with you. I'm running away with you, I'm running away with you. Slightly adjusted because there's, there's more important matters at hand here, such as the personal life of Andrea and I. I told her on the phone, I said, there's going to be a little thing happening tonight. It's going to start with this. Last night, last boning ever took place last night. Last boning ever took place last night. Let me tell you the last boning ever took place last night. And a little history first. Latino girls have a sex drive. My Polish and Russian blood can't compete with. I don't know what to do. When the boning happens, she doesn't have much to say But when there's not a boning, holy shit, she's got a lot to say Dissatisfaction at its worst Come on, what am I supposed to do? It's happened for so many years that I'm just accustomed To hearing complaints about our sex life And so when there's a boning, the next day I say the last boning ever took place last night 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 This kind of sounds like a song I got called Photograph It's not it's called Mispronunciation. It's dedicated to Andrea. Mispronunciation. Mispronunciation. I can't 
came up with this earlier today This pronunciation White people do it, yeah, yeah, yeah Black people do it, yeah, yeah, yeah Latino Americans learning English do it a lot Sometimes she says some words and it's supposed to be something else One time we went to a Korean restaurant We were looking at the menu I knew, I knew what I wanted I wondered if she does too I ordered what I had to, what I wanted What did Andrea order? The Korean waiter came up to her and said What would you like? And she said, I'll have the sauteed rice noodles The sauteed rice noodles She didn't want them sauteed, she wanted them sauteed That's okay Sauteed rice noodles for my girlfriend At the Korean restaurant on St. Mark's Place The place where you can cook the shit at the table We don't do that It seems like too much work I'm not gonna do it Here's a funnier mispronunciation story We already talked about sex once tonight But what's tonight? We're gonna mix sex in mispronunciations. Sex in mispronunciations. Sometimes the mispronunciations, they don't have to do with the word. It's all about the tense and the way that you used it. The way that you used it. And there was this one time. Something sexual was about to go down Nothing was really happening down there I think you know what I mean And then the question came Did you jacked off? Did you jacked off? Did you jacked off? Did you jacked off? I think that I jacked off But did I jacked off? I'm not sure Probably I did that day you're a guy that's most days Unless you're a born-again Christian Or you, for some reason, think that pornography is like drugs Okay, I agree It's a really damaging thing to relationships There's no question about it You used to like a tit And then you liked the vagina Then you liked the dogs and the horses and the midgets and the shit And transvestites And they're really expanding the boundaries now there's bikes where a girl can ride it It's got a dildo attached I don't know how they did that They might have had that in the 1950s I don't know, I suspect they didn't Did people fuck less in the 1950s? Our brains tell us so Statistics say otherwise Alright guys, I believe I'm at my final thing here at 23 minutes Is that about right? Okay, so one time, I'm going to tell you the story real quick, guys. I was obsessed with this girl named Andrea Rosen. This is Andrea. It's different. And, uh, Andrea Rosen is an actress. She's on Stella. She's in Baxter, a movie no one gives a fuck about. It's fantastic. And uh, I'm like, oh, God, she's the hottest. And then somehow I decided I'm going to make a song called Will You Marry Me, Andrea Rosen, and get it to her, and maybe she'll marry me or at least date me or something. And I create the song get it out there into the world. I get to meet her, which was cool, and me and Mark met her that night. I really had high hopes I'm gonna date her, I'm gonna marry her, or whatever. Mark's, you know, I was like, she's so hot in person, she's so hot in person. She looked really tired. Mark said, that's this guy right here, he said she looked like she had oxy pads cut in half under her eyes, you know, like a half moon. He's not inaccurate, so anyhow, that night I was so bummed out. I was like, oh, she talked about her boyfriend. She was doing stand-up comedy, and she talked about her boyfriend, and oh man, this sucks, she's you know, so down now, fuck. And uh, so anyhow, the song's cool. The music video is cool. I like it. The guy who made it fucking was so angry when he made it. But it's Will You Marry Me, Andrea Rosen. Mark requested it last time, and I made it so I can play it live. And uh, hence the drum machine. And I got an addition to it. Will You Marry Me?
prospect park So will you be my wife? Will you marry me, Andrea Rosen? I wanna hold your hand Your MySpace says you're in a relationship But I wanna be your man the couch with Jimmy She's my little girl The lizard I hope that you like reptiles Baby, I wanna be a part of your world Your hair color's perfect A beautiful kind of black I wanna spend the rest of my life with you And I know I'll never look back me, Andrea Rosen, need you in my life. We could go to Prospect Park, so will you be my wife? Will you marry me, Andrea Rosen? I want to hold your hand. Heart is broken because I don't have you and I want to be your now listen to me, baby doll I promise that I'm not a creep My head is clear and my heart is true My love for you so deep You are so goddamn beautiful I wanna hold you in my arms Every night you're in my dreams I can't stand it when I Will you marry me, Andrea Rosen? I need you in my life We could go to Prospects Park So will you be my wife? Will you marry me, Andrea Rosen? I wanna hold your hand My heart is broken cause I don't have you and I wanna be both the same If you like a me like I like a you then we like a both the same If you like a me like I like a you then we like a both the same If you like a me like I like a you then we like a both the same Will you marry me Marry me, Andrea Rosen. Marry me, marry me. Will you marry me, Andrea Rosen? Marry me, marry me. Will you marry me, Andrea Rosen? Marry me, marry me. If you like a me, like I like a you. Say this every day. I like to change your name. If you like a me, like I like a you, then we like a both the same. I like to say this every day. I like to change your name. If you like a me, like I like a you, then we like a both the same. 
So here's the deal. Anyone who I haven't already spoken with about what that song's from, if you know what that song, the ending that I spliced it with it is from, I'll give you two free CDs. If you know what movie it's from. And if you don't know what it's from and you just want a CD, it's the Recession Special. Oh, it's a Recession, the Middle Class, something or other, whatever. If you want a CD from me, you could give me whatever amount of money you think is fair, even a penny. And I'll give you one. I'll give you both for a penny. You can half a penny. That's what a CD baby pays. You see the dollar at point to point zero zero seven. That's the way it is. Thank you guys for coming out and clowning it. Thank you, Mark, for the t-shirt. You got... I say clown so fucking much. Mark got me a t-shirt with the clown on it. I thought my night couldn't get any better. Dina got her birthday presents. I got clown shirt. You guys heard some songs, and I thank you for coming and listening. It's a special uh, hand, give everybody give a hand for Andrea, who played awesome. And she puts up with talk of personal life. And for the sound guys, awesome, and so is Bar East. Thank you guys. I'm unplugging.